Hello and welcome to my video. I'm your artist Dayanita and my label, my page, my handle is called 1963. In today's video, you will be seeing the painting process of a peony flower in pink, one of the rarest, lightest colors I have applied on my flower painting. However, I know that you know the drill and so I will not take you through the steps in the form of a guide. But if you do have questions about what you have seen in the video, do leave them in the comment section and don't forget to hit the like button and please do subscribe to my channel. A quick note on this is that if you follow me on Instagram at 1963 underscore reinventing, you know that this flower was commissioned long back and has been delivered already. You also know that I am very regular with YouTube and so here I am. As I record this audio, I'm alone in my house, wallowing in my bed and feeling worked up about slowing down of my business. For those of you who do not know, I'm primarily an artist. I also do creative designing for various purposes and I also handle event decor. Until the month of March, I had been so burdened with work that I found myself lacking sleep, a proper routine, and I also fell sick on days following event executions. For months after months, I went on a spree and I was thriving under pressure. I did some of the most amazing projects and they were all so unique in every way. So interesting and I loved the fact that my patrons and clients were so happy. Of course, there were dull moments too, but I often used them as tools to refine myself, my work, my ethics and ultimately my business. Someone may come off as bitter for innumerable reasons, but I also accept and acknowledge a shortcoming and see if I can find myself to work on them. Until the end of last month, when I went to a site for an event planning, I visited my grandmom, whom we call Aita in Assamese. I called her and said, Aita, what happens if I don't get this project? To which she calmly replied, So you rest. Ever since then, now when I think about it, I manifested rest. Work started slowing down. Projects, proposals, requirements came down. Even the projects that exist are not being worked out. At first, I found comfort in sleeping and let me say, I'm still recovering from the stress of the last few months. My cousin asked me a few days back if I'm a workaholic because I was busy on my phone trying to create some ads on my Instagram posts. I told her I'm not a workaholic, I'm running a label under sole proprietorship, which means I'm the only one who can keep my business afloat and I don't settle for just being afloat. I want to fly all the time. I've been resting for 15 days now, very mildly working. Am I enjoying the rest? Definitely. Do I miss work? Yes, I do. Am I scared I'm not getting projects again and losing relevance? A hundred percent, yes. But I'm hopeful. I know there are a few things lined up and they will come through in time. Perhaps I have to start manifesting work again. Perhaps I enjoy the stress and I didn't know about it. Please know that it is also very difficult speaking out these thoughts that trouble me at night and slow me down every morning. I'm also going through a mental block where I'm neither finding inspiration nor am I appealed by the work I do in my own time for myself, my archive. But I guess this is a part of growing up. This is also the part of a process of an artist where you are hustling with the commercial world, the commercial requirements of the world. But I am hopeful that may will not be like april and so i have to keep trying show up often be there be relevant pop up here and there even if through notifications find my relevance upgrade myself and hopefully you will help me stay afloat if not flying I am the most excited when new proposals come to me. The next few days where I work out the plan for my clients or my patrons are all jitters and anxiety about whether they will like the ideas, whether they will give me the project. Even though sometimes they do offer their own ideas as well, it is up to me how to incorporate them into how I envision their idea. And then when the approval is done, we only have so much time to do the prep. Sometimes when it comes to events, they are planned out in just one week, sometimes in three days and the speed that comes as a part of it doesn't leave room in you to think about well-being. I have told myself that it is somebody else's event and it relies entirely on you to look beautiful and so 
we do everything in very limited time sometimes i'm trying to expand my business where i have people working with me have a full-fledged studio but such ideas definitely take time and you know that as for art and creative designing when i'm painting or designing i keep my ears full i play a movie sometimes i play podcasts and keep painting yes i know this can be distracting for some of you but it keeps me i don't know how to put this um full it keeps me full but i haven't completely wasted my time these past 15 days i got myself an ipad which at first looked like a pretty impulsive decision but then i started spending my time learning designing and art on procreate it is a whole new world for me and so i have also been distracted with my newfound interest i'm watching a lot of movies i'm updating my music playlists i'm spending ample time with my baby dog ogle and i have been going out on evenings i've started going back to the gym which had come to a halt due to work pressure but i say it's enough i need the rush again i need to get back at it it keeps me pumped and happy this is how much my work means to me i hope i find back my motivation my zeal and no more of this art block i'd exhausted myself and now i'm rested i need to come out of this and be able to get back on Today before I started recording this audio, when I opened my YouTube channel, to my surprise, I found quite a jump on my subscribers. I'm sort of excited about this and immediately felt the need to make this upload. I have plenty other art videos in my phone that need editing and uploading. I'm thinking I guess I should start focusing on those for the next few days until I start getting busy again. As for the video, I'm sorry if fast forward made it difficult for you to catch up on any significant detailing, but I'm always up for queries. The video was incredibly long in real time and so I had to do this, but I see your comments. I'm so glad to be able to answer your questions that you're following my work. Thanks and I really hope to see you again soon with another video. Oh, and never, ever, ever forget to sign your name onto your paintings. That is the last step and the most satisfying step and you have to do it. That is what ensures your work is yours.